Hey guys, this is Ken Blevins with FutureAgents.com. I wanted to show you this really new cool app today called ScanBot. Um, and it's been out there for a while, but it's recently gone some changes and they've relaunched it as ScanBot 2.0. Um, and it's been about a week out there now. I've been playing around with it and I've played with a lot of scanning apps. Um, and this one is hands down the best I've come across. It's got some great cro cropping features. You can easily drop it into Dropbox or uh, Evernote or Google Drive, whatever uh, cloud storage you may be using. Um, and so I highly recommend it. It comes, as you can see here on the screen, um, from the App Store or Google Play. So you can get it in both iPhone and Android. And then also the iPhone app works on your iPad as well. And so if you look over here, this is the iTunes Store version. Of course, you're going to pull it up in the App Store on your device. Uh, but you can see it's $1.99 is all it costs. And here's the most recent update, July 17th of 2014. And so, you know, again, it's been out there for a while, but the recent a um, additions they've made to it and the ease of use and, and everything, I think it's hands down the best skating app out there. And so as real estate agents, you know how important it is on the road uh, to be able to quickly grab documents or receipts or business cards or anything of that nature. And so I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of how quickly how easy it is to use let me uh, grab my iPad or my phone show it on the screen here all right mirroring is on so let me go out to the app itself right down here in the lower left hand corner scan bot so I bring it up and let me show you how easy it is to work you hit the plus sign to add a document that pulls up your camera. I'm going to grab here just a piece of paper. Scan. Done. You don't even have it hit the button. They do give you a white button there to hit, but you don't have to. Once it's in focus, ScanBot will take the picture. Um, and so I'm going to save that real quickly. It's creating the document, and there it is. And so I can open it up, or I can go back and add something new. So I'm going to add um, a business card. So I'm going to show you how easy this is too. Um, you know, I'm just on a desk surface and it pretty much tells you what to do to bring it in. So it wants me to turn the iPhone so it can get a better picture. And once it's in range, move closer, it tells you exactly what to do. Boom, it takes the picture. There's the business card. So if you all know um, how much uh, receipts are to keep track of and so let me show you how easy it is to add a receipt let me show you this cropping feature as well i'm actually going to hold the receipt in my hand if i can hold it correctly and let the cropping feature work boom isn't that great you can pull it up panera bread receipt take a look at it I can see everything notice I was holding it in my hand but it cropped it out so it just takes a picture of that exact receipt so I'm gonna save that suppose you have a contract or a legal document I'm gonna show you how to add those now one of the things I can do is you see this at the bottom lower left hand corner it's got one or multiple if I click on that you see how it changed it to multiple pages if I click on it it goes back to one single page even if you take one single page, you can add pages to it, but that's a way if you know you're gonna be doing a larger contract, you can do single or multiple pages. So let me show you again, legal document. This is actually a tax document, so it's legal size, legal form. Again, I don't hit anything as soon as it's in. Now, I had single page on here. If I wanted multiple, it would say add your second one, or in the upper left-hand corner, even if I have single page, I can add a page right to it. So I'm gonna click that add a page, turn it over, and then the back of the document, once it's in focus, it takes the picture for you. And that's how easy it is. And so if I save that, boom, there's all the four documents I just took. And what's really cool is I can add these, again, as we talked about. I have this automatically download into my Dropbox. As you can see, it's checked there. But if you wanted to drop, download it into Google Drive or OneDrive, um, any any of the the major ones out there, uh, Google, um, your Google Drive, Evernote, all of those are out there. So these are just the ones I happen to be connected with. But I use my Dropbox for it. And let me show you where how that happens. I'm going to take this off mirroring. And so if I open up my Dropbox account. 
you can see there's a box, uh, a folder in here called ScanBot, and it creates that automatically. And here are some documents that I have in here. So these are the ones I just took. So there is, there is the, the letter page that I, um, I, I took. And you can click on it and bring it up and look at it in full size, or you can look at it right on the screen. Here's a copy of that tax document. And so you can see there's the second page. So you can click right on it. Or again, you can bring it up in a full document and take a look at it. Look how clear that is. I mean, it's so easy and so fast. Here's the business card. And there's the receipt. So again, click on it. You can read it. And boom. And then if you want to save it, a lot of times what I do is I keep this empty. I just save it and drop it into a folder, you know, Amex receipt, if I can spell, and you know, whatever the date may be or, or whatever you want to put there, and then drop it into a folder um, that you may have, you may keep your Amex receipts and so forth. So that's how easy it is to, 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 to use ScanBot. Um, I would highly recommend you give it a shot. Um, you know, again, it's very important when you're on the road out there, be able to grab documents, drop them into the clouds, and I'm off to the client, whatever it may be. And this is a great tool to do that. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.